Hey guys and welcome to part 19 of the Resident Evil 4 playthrough. We have just defeated the Et, and no it's not that clown from Stephen King's novel. But now we just, we just defeat it, we're on our way to fight Krauser. You know, the random avatar commando that just popped out of nowhere. And tried to kill us with a knife. <laughs> Boom! Boom. <laughs> no survivors. Oh. <laughs> you missed! You missed! How could you miss? He was free free in front of you! <laughs> oh, he's alive. He's a goddamn rebel. No, he's just got a massive headache now and he's like, <laughs> Oh fuck, where'd he go? <laughs> suplex? Oh, what was that? I was trying to do the suplex, but I didn't get it. Nope. But that's still satisfying. In fact, what's also satisfying in the Actually, classic Resident Evil is that if you get bitten by a zombie from the ground, you stomp, if, it, if it's crash, you stomp the head, but if it's Chris or Joe, you actually kick yeah. the head off like a football. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to pass the merchant as well. No, the merchant's not here. Or is it? No, that's not until later on. Hmm. Merchant's down below, actually, where we're going to get the last yeah. stone for the cat statue. And I think we won't see any regenerators up to this point. Yeah, that's... Oh, there is one more, but... Oh, yeah, there... one, there's one more, yeah, but we won't need it. It's a place you wouldn't expect it to be, though. Mm -hmm. The Blue Stone of Treason. And that is the cat statue complete. A statue Shiny. of all, sta all stones fitted on it. Very, very, very good description by me, I must say, Capcom. Oh, uh, what was it? Uh... Oh, Pokemon Black and White, uh, the Ice Dragon Legendary Curum. You catch that in Black and White 1 in their Pokedex entry. I don't know if it's just one of the games that it says it in, but one of them is literally so late. It's so fucking lazy. It literally just says, it can produce ultra-cold hair. <laughs> not hair. <laughs> sorry. It can produce ultra-cold air. Its body is frozen. Now, and why would... No, sorry to interrupt, but why would Krauser leave a note like this describing how... How he's what planning, he's doing. what he's doing, <laughs> just leaving that landing right there. Because he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> or hell, maybe he's so confident in his ability that he intentionally left well it done. there for Leon. Because he's already blurted out that Not he's doing this for Umbrella. And if you just notice this there, this is where the merchant eyes start glowing red. I thought they were glowing earlier. No, this is, I think this is where it starts glowing red. Because I just saw it right there, bro. And outside in the village at night time. Yeah, now I've got maximum firepower yeah. for the broken butterfly. But what am I going to spend the rest of my money on? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm trying to use my money as not, and not buy the most expensive stuff first. Firepower, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, I might as well. Come back any time. Oh, thank you. Come again. <laughs> right. Onwards to desert castles and beyond. We've already went past the castle. Yes, but now we're going for a desert castle. Oh, it's major difference. <laughs> it's like the castle in Symphony in the Night. Halfway through the game, was it? Aye. Where it's now upside down. Oh, no! <laughs> And here is our boss fight with Jack Krauser in this entire area. This is actually one of the best fights in the game, actually. So, you two are all hooked up now, is that it? I don't understand why he's got red paint, why he's got red face paint on and he's taking off his shirt. He's beyond that gate. Well, he has a soldier, so... I don't think soldiers would go into battle with no shirt on. This one does. What are you gonna do, Krauser? That's probably what he, that's probably what he should have said when he's standing there. I was standing here for three hours. I was starting to get bored. You got the last one. It pretty much means you're on a tight leash. Or it could be angry. He's just angry he didn't make the commando audition. Sounds like he thought. No, he's angry that we ripped his favorite shirt. <laughs> That's why he's not wearing it anymore. <laughs> because it's ripped. Would you wear a ripped shirt? If it was the last thing I have. So, right for this point, we're gonna have to get to the other side of the maze while avoiding Krauser for now. Oh, and I did, I, I did not realize that I could shoot through cover. I thought that would be. I thought it was one of those video game logics where you would hide behind cover, no matter what it was, it wouldn't destroy. I don't get that though. The cutscene ends with Leon being behind cover, and then you're not in cover anymore. <laughs> but so, be careful, Krauser will charge you directly right after you take cover here. 
Now, ironically, the most effective weapon to use against this guy is the knife. knife. This does so much damage to him, it's kind of frightening. But it's a little bit tricky to time just right. Oh, this slows, you'll take high damage. <laughs> so you have to time your swipes just right. Yeah. And he has invincibility frames when he throws a flash grenade for some reason. That's just the way it mm. works with him disappearing into the next part. And as Krauser explained when we were talking over, he's got there's to get to the next piece we have next next piece of the area we have to go through this gate, but he's taking three pieces. Woof. Yeah, right behind that pillar is where he was hiding. Isn't so much better when you know you're not gonna die immediately if you miss those. Yeah, <laughs> it's the pressure off. So as. Carza said there's one piece in the north and the other in the east, and he's got the last part. Since he was so kind to let us know. And he has a bow and arrow. He also has hand grenades, which he, he'll start tossing it when we get to the next part. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> this, was completely, this was completely new for me, because I did not expect this. And not only that, he has robots. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't think I've seen these ones before. I've never, this is the first time I've seen this happen. What do these do? do they they shoot? They shoot at you. But here he comes again. Where's he getting robots from? <laughs> Probably from his soldier experiences. Oh. I'm doing all these backflips, but I'm not going uh, anywhere. I want to heal. <laughs> <laughs> I want to wait till he's gone, then I'll take some grass. <laughs> I thought we were smoking it. Well, that's what it is. It's Resident Evil, you smoke weed or you spray a, or you spray a can of hairspray. <laughs> Oh. oh, Jesus Christ, they're close. I'm surprised they didn't just knife them. Oh, wait, they explode. They explode. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. They're robots. They probably have self-destruct sequences initiated in each and every one of them. Yeah, I get it. I brought this up earlier, I think, but the fucking barrels can be set off by your knife for some reason yeah. in this game. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Plus, this is one of, the, one of the best sound pieces out there, the Krauss' boss theme. So now we got the first piece. Oh come on! No more cuties. We intend to do restoring Umbrella to bring order and balance to this insane world of ours. Yeah, you've gone completely Psycho fucking cuckoo. Like you can't bring <laughs> order or balance. Cuckoo, <laughs> cuckoo. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Insert the Bugs Bunny screwball joke from back in action. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Krauser is just mad with power. Ups. Yeah. And I think it's because during Operation Javier, he got stabbed on his arm and he was relieved to duty on the soldier because he... Got infected. Aye. And he, and of course, that made him even more jealous and piss of Leon. Because Leon didn't lose his status. No. In the government after that. As I think he said it in one dialogue. For you and I, Leon, we're merely different sides of the same coin. No. Now, if you're out in the open here, he'll start throwing hand grenades and... Ow. <laughs> Again, timing the knife is really, really finicky. It's much harder on the console version. Now, this cutie is po pointless. It gives you the chance to work your own snarky comment back, <laughs> even though it's Leon's pre recorded one. Yeah, you're better off just pressing them just for the extra dialogue. Yeah, the hand grenade. If you're out in the open when the hand grenades fall to the ground, you'll get quick time events to roll out of the way. Mm -hmm. Even if they go off right next to you, as long as you hit the quick time event, you're Oh okay. no, my hat fell off! <laughs> Does that hat stay off, actually? Yes. My hat fell off, I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> no, if Wesker lost his shades, he'd probably be pissed. But then again, he pulls another right out of his pocket. What was that, Veronica? No, in, uh, I believe in Resident Evil 5, actually. No, he throws the shades at Chris, and Chris, like, he's caught off guard, catches them, and then Wesker, like, takes them and puts them back on <laughs> after he kicks his and shoves his ass. Because I'm him. a smug bastard. <laughs> Levers. Two of them. Wait, why can't we just shoot those through the bars? Because <laughs> it worked so well earlier and when we were in the mines. Again, this is an early 2005 game where they probably, even though there were gaps, they were probably coded with invisible walls. After in the mines, you shot a lever to turn it on. <laughs> What's stopping <laughs> us just shooting those ones too? Now this bit, this bit can took me by surprise because I never. Behind you here yeah, as well. I never, I never expected this to him to pop up from behind here. Oh, usually he just goes for the grab. Usually nothing happens when I go through here. Oh, you're getting wrecked. And I'm using nothing but the knife for this fight. Yeah. You can 
But I will lie, the first time I fought this guy, I did not know about the knife strategy, so the only thing I did was try and shoot his toes. Yeah, I think you can bait him out with <laughs> I think you can bait him out with the forward backwards trick as well for those knife slashes. But it's like, I'm shooting your little toe, Ninja Joe. <laughs> oh, why aren't these these sentry robots and GLaDOS? Are you still there? Come on, bitch. Oh no. <laughs> the video was there again. Template. <laughs> Template. Resolve. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what video that was on. Day in the Life of a Sentry Bot. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. That's one of the funniest videos I've ever mm. seen on YouTube. Aye. <laughs> Along with Wallace being what Alpha Team. What is it you fight for, comrade? Like no! <laughs> Brain scratch. <laughs> yeah. Now these robots will follow you, but I don't know why this one didn't. Probably got stuck on the wall. Now it's not. Oh, boom. What? <laughs> it took quite a bit of time to blow up there. Well, it's to get let you get away. That's Resident Evil. Nothing ever lets you get away. It's <laughs> a trap! Not quite. <clears throat> and up we go. Ah, snake eater. Eat a snake! <laughs> no, that's when you're jumping down the ladder. Da 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 da! Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3, one entire ladder plays. <laughs> a version of Snakey or in, in its entirety before you get to the top of the ladder. I'm surprised that's not like an opening credits when you're climbing up the ladder. Uh, after the main prologue of the game, you do get the Snake Eater theme and an intro. So here's the second piece. Now we have to kill Krauser. He has the last piece. And this is where it goes full bonkers. Two down, one more to go, Krauser. We'll we have the last cutscene quick time event here as well. This mm -hmm. is the only one that will not result in instant game over if you fail it. If you miss it, you get slashed by his new arm here and then you have to... And then Leon falls back and has to climb back up with a quick time event. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he man. Yes. That takes me back. Prepare for your death, Leon. <laughs> Must and to take high damage and have to climb back up with a QT. And here I am, I'm gonna tear him apart with my pocket knife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the knife. Oh, oh, Andrew's lost it as well. He's trying to kill him with the knife. Yes. Well, it's the most effective weapon. Look, well, look at the size of his compared to yours. It does enough damage, and this is the problem where it's. I'm trying to do the knife, but it's, the QT pops up and it's the wiggle the wee more. <laughs> well, Andrew's lost his mind. He's trying to do this with just a knife. Oops. It's over. He's gonna die. <laughs> Why is this dancing? Yes. It's not Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's Mortal Ballet. <laughs> oh my God. It's sing. because it's the key, it's the it's the wiggle it's the, the wee more QT popping up and preventing me from using the yeah. knife. <laughs> there is a but if you hold C on the. On the, the the joystick as well, I think that lets you manually use it. Mm. I never knew that. Ooh. But the trick is to go up and down as he's going up and down with the knife. Oh, it's oh shit! Oh. oh no, my shin! <laughs> well, I just lost it. <laughs> he's trying to kill him just the knife. It's gonna take forever. Oof. Oh! I'm surprised you're not dead here because <laughs> any other game that would have killed you. I would. <laughs> I must be feeling very lucky to during this. No, recording. you've just gone insane because you're using the knife and nothing but the knife. So yeah, he's gonna die. I'm doing all these backflips, but I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, at a distance, Crosser will try and stab at you, and he's done. In actuality, folks, the knife does as much damage to Krauser as a magnum. Although you wouldn't believe it at first. <laughs> Aye, because it's the bloody knife. And because uh, because of his adjusted difficulty, Krauser probably had a lot of health as well. Aye. So, I don't like how the... By the way, if the timer runs out here, you you will die still. Well, he's, yeah. he's strapped bombs along, around the tower, so... I just don't... That's just... Even if you get to this part, which I did once, first time through, I ran out of time. No, how about that? And Just died. as Krauser dies, he lets go of a detonator. Yeah, <laughs> like this, this right here, I, I don't like that the timer doesn't stop here. Well, at least it stops 
you know, I should have done that. I can stop time while I was staring at the art. Yeah, because if you were to stand right perfectly there, right next to the door, mm -hmm. time run out, you would die. <laughs> even after you've beaten the boss, which is bullshit. It's Kaizo design, I don't like But that. even yeah, now it blows up. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if it, if, if it didn't blow up, I would be disappointed. But that's the end of Krauser. I believe that's the only time they increase the damage of the knife. Uh, no, he just takes so much damage from it to begin with. Yes. <laughs> or the way as Lee would say it. Yes. I thought he was with you. What are you talking about? Did you really think I'd trust an American? To tell you the truth, I was contemplating how to get rid of him. So as Game of Thrones. <laughs> everyone betrays everyone. <laughs> All the power for themselves. Oh, did I touch a nerve? <laughs> demonstrated quite a bit of promise by killing Krauser. With your pathetic pocket knife. <laughs> Therefore, your insanity is what I need as my guard. Fortunately, I'm going to have to decline your generous offer. I have prior engagements. I have Vader. That's all I need. <laughs> then again, he tries asking Hannigan's number later. <laughs> Which, by the way, we've not we've not going to see Hannigan till the end of the game. <laughs> And now they've got the Armada that's coming. Oh, they actually are using their brains for once. <laughs> Damn. But luckily we have backup in the form of Mike. Who, the, who is Mike? Who cares? <laughs> well, all we know is he's a pilot. Bad traffic. You're on, an out, you're on a fucking helicopter. <laughs> Let's hope he's a better pilot or a driver than Leon. <laughs> You have guns on that bloody helicopter. Is it? Oh no, a water tower! <laughs> kind of reminds me of that Lugin's back in action where the water tower comes down. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I think she likes you. Yeah. <laughs> so, what in this journal section we have to go for this entire area, but. There'll be three towers with Gat with uh, the Armada is full with Gatling guns, but don't worry, Mike, the raging drunk in his helicopter, will take care of them for you. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call backup. My name's Mike. You're looking for firepower. You come to the right place. What if it was that Mike from Arkham Asylum? If you remember, <laughs> apparently he retired from the GCPD and moved to Gotham. If you no, it. no, no, wait, that, remember, that doesn't make sense. He retired from the GCPD and moved to Spain uh, to the Resident Evil world. <laughs> By the way, if you shoot at the chopper, Mike calls you out on it. What are you crazy? And we're going to, and we're going to hide from a Gatling gun in the safety of a tent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bullets really should be going through that, but because it's a video game, it's a solid object with walls around it. So those big towers, that Mike will take care of them for you. But he'll tell you to take cover when he's about to shoot them. Another great music piece here. Aye. This is where it goes full on action. Yeah, this is where this is this is the sign of what will come next. Hell, even the music's all actioning. <laughs> I think because they ran out of ideas or they want to try something new. I'd say uh, something new. Ooh, a hand grenade. Back when Capcom didn't recycle fucking everything. <laughs> like, again. This... <laughs> Fuck! Ah, uh, good to see some things never change. <laughs> and. <laughs> <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm making that meme. <laughs> Uh, yeah, folks, this is... Right, I'm hunting down the manufacturer of crossbows after this. <laughs> Starting with Daryl Dixon. <laughs> oh, he's pretty hard to kill, so <laughs> you're going to have a hard time with that. Yeah, I'm cool. I'm the helicopter. Imagine if they... 
if they mod, I bet you someone's modded this and put the Chris Redfield in the jet here. <laughs> yeah, because Chris is a pilot. And then yeah. he just crashes on top crane. <laughs> that was your fault, by the way. <laughs> that was not in the same playthrough. That was your fault. <laughs> I still didn't die in the Chris playthrough. No, we did. Ah, you made up. Ah! <laughs> How was I supposed to know he'd be behind me? Well, then there should be no men again. So. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mike, destroy that tower. Oh! Ah, uh, the Gatling guns do a lot of damage. Oh! Are we gonna see him die? Nope. What, you want me to. Is this all you want your. Is this all you want your entire life? Me to die? No. <laughs> I like how really when you know, it's firing the machine gun, he jitters like Where's a pigeon. Where's he going? <laughs> like a pet, he jitters like a pigeon. You missed. Yeah, we're coming up from the ladder from down there. Aye. Because I didn't push it down. There's another, there's another area that got its own, it's its own mercenaries map here, and I also got another map for Mercs 3D. <laughs> You have to wait for Mike to destroy us. I don't know how you would handle that in a speed run then. Like if there's anything you can do to speed that up. <laughs> Maybe the end for the rocket launch, I suppose. Uh, I don't know... Or the Chicago typewriter. Yeah. No, I don't know if those would work on it. For those wondering what the Chicago typewriter is, basically, I think you get that by getting... You, you finish separate ways. And to get, and that basically is an infinite machine pistol with like 10 points of damage per bullet. And it's very powerful. It can even take down bosses in a couple of seconds. But it, it costs one million pettis. One million! <laughs> Hi, JJ. Where's the, where's the latest headline from Parker? <laughs> Parker! Oh, there's only two J's and that's one's name. <laughs> yeah, you can't that, help but make the reference anyway. That one has three. <laughs> Oh, again with the wooden shields. Just like Bloodborne, the yeah. wooden shields are useless. Hmm, a wooden shield. That should maybe... And because he's got a shotgun, and I've learned from my furry soldiers that they <laughs> disintegrate. Oh, no, my shield's gone. I should have upgraded it to a metal one. Which, by the way, folks, Bloodborne is also free this month on PS Plus. Grab it, because it's awesome. For God's sake, die already. Yeah. There we go. Well, it's almost like you're five feet away from him with the I shotgun. Can't, well, there's a Gatling gun firing at my range. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yanking your chain. <laughs> oh, you're doing more than that. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was some Oof. There. Oh! Thankfully that didn't put me into dying. No, there is no dying <laughs> in this game. There and is, there goes his hat. There He's going to be pissed. Your, there is only your health, your health, and dead. Now you can zip line and take him on close Daniel range. Then fucking melee you with a Gatling gun. <laughs> I was about to say, back. why would you want to do that? Now he's done. You can bait, actually, I was, I was about to bring it up. If you master the form backwards trick and then run towards him, he'll try and attack you with his Gatling gun, like a melee attack. But if you master form <laughs> backwards trick like that, he'll never be able to hit you. Hmm. Right, at this point, I'm not going to use the infrared scope because I don't need it don't need with my it. sniper rifle. Ah, more safety tents. I'll be high. <laughs> I'll be fine behind these. Because the the walls of the tents are actually, according to the game, solid. It's just the way the gaming program. And yeah, we works. saw earlier when the rocks aren't. I guess cross. <laughs> you were in the tent and you still got hit by a crossbow bolt. <laughs> I'm just turning green. <laughs> no, like that. I'm making that a meme. Leon. Leon's afraid of crossbows now. Did you just get hit by an attack? Oh, I thought no. I heard Leon grunting there. No, I didn't. It's a cutscene. To get you scared. Yeah, I died a few times here on Professional. This was, this was pretty annoying. Because as, as soon as you walk out, you get fucking destroyed by that. Yeah. You have to take out the, the two and the Gatling guns. And on Professional difficulty, the adjustive difficulty is always set to max. Please tell me that in the professional way, if it's just one bullet, it puts you straight into red health. Those uh, Gatling guns. Uh, probably. Oh no, dynamite! No, 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 no! no. <laughs> Watch out, dynamite! Boomsticks! <laughs> oh. 
They're climbing up the ladders now. Yeah, Smart. This is another reason why I died a few times on Brawl. No, oh, you're not dead. <laughs> I like how they were nowhere near that explosion radius and they got hit. Yeah, the dynamite blast radius is huge for them, but tiny for you. <laughs> about times where you do a melee kick and then it's nowhere near the guy's face. <laughs> and they go flying off screen. One of my, one of my personal favorites, you do a melee attack in R5 and you have fun air. Because <laughs> they stagger backwards. <laughs> like I've had it happen a few times where it crosses straight. <laughs> it's like they're, they know you're waiting. Alright, I'm trying to find the right angle Wait, to shoot what? them. I shot the I shot the Gatling gun battle. I think it looked like you shot the wall because the sparks were really close to you there. Because again, the environment's also getting in the way. Mm. Or I can just let Mike do the job for me. <laughs> well, I think he's taking one Gatling gun out. No, on this lever there's two switches on the opposite side. You see those green but lights there? Yeah. Now they close. Now you have to reopen them. It's a good thing I just popped up here. And there's a and there's some gold over there that will not reach in time. So bye bye gold. <laughs> running, 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 running. Crossbow. No. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Even the point blank range, I suck. Gee, it's almost like using the sniper rifle at close range was a bad idea. <laughs> Unless you're a no scope god in Call of Duty. Um, I believe I have one more yellow herb later. That'll be the health fully up yep, fully maxed. Upgraded. Onwards you get, to war. Yeah, you can see that the, that cut on his cheek. It stays on his character model. Oh boy, Ganado so dynamite. That's gonna be a laugh. No, they f no, it's the best is when they throw in and then they blow themselves up. I've had times where, I think it happens a lot more in RE5 compared to us, but there are times where they'll they'll blow up without them even throwing it. <laughs> but even if you just start, delay them by shooting them in the head or something? Uh, yeah, I think so. Like, Pass me, why are you going down? <laughs> <laughs> just to kill me. Even Mike's getting annoyed at Oh, well, Mike's doing it for me. He's like saying, get out of the way. Well, he's going to blow the tower anyway, so... And that should be it for the enemies now. We're in the clear. We're oh, not! Hot. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> He's raging at me, that's what it is. It's like Karkin RE5, who can, and actually will, on very rare occasions, shoot at you with a rocket launcher uh. if enemies happen to be close to you. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew. He, he fucked up. <laughs> Right, as we as Mike continues to provide cover and as I grab some hairspray, we'll see you in the next part, folks.